Gentlemen, ladies, old school games not being here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I was able to get a da uh, a Daz character playing a Cascadeur animation that I exported and created in Cascadeur uh, into Unreal Engine and basically retarget my uh, Daz character uh, blah 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 with the UE4, which is basically what Cascadeur has as a default export option, the uh, UE4 rig. I had some trouble doing this with the UE5 uh, option. Now, what I initially tried was to uh, first ex uh, down, uh, export my Cascadeur animation, which came out like that. And then I tried to retarget it to the UE5 mannequin, which then came out like that. And you guys can see there's kind of a jitter up and down on the body, right? Like it didn't really work that well when I tried to retarget from UE4 to UE5 using the built-in uh, yeah, not not built in using the um, sort of default that came with it. So if you guys don't know about that, in you in, in your characters mannequins, you got rigs here, and you can basically go UE4 to UE5, and you can retarget an animation, uh, and you can basically just go like that UE4 to UE5, and I'm going to start with the UE4, retarget to the UE5, and basically yeah, what I got was was this, and it didn't really work that well. It's kind of wobbly. Um, and that's also what happened to my Daz character. Now, <clears throat> there is a Daz, uh, there is basically a way to retarget. Now, there wasn't a way that I could find to retarget the UE4 character to my Daz character. It just all came out like spaghetti each time. But I was able to retarget my UE5 character, uh, UE5 mannequin to my, to my Daz character. In case any of you want to do that and you don't care about the jitter, um, you can do that by using, I think it's the fix rotator. You select your skeleton. <clears throat> Okay, well, never mind about that. It didn't really work. It kept crashing my Unreal that time. Uh, but it did work for me before, initially, but it didn't work. The same sort of jittery, jumpy, uppy, downy effect was transferring over to my Daz character as well. So uh, I thought I'd just try uh, directly retargeting the UE4 to, uh, UE4 to, to my Daz character. But the problem is... Um, I could find a UE5 to, uh, sorry, a UE4 to UE5, and I could find a UE5 to DAZ sort of, um, uh, uh, what's it called, rig retargeter, but I couldn't find a UE4 to DAZ rig retargeter, so I had to build one. Uh, and what I'm going to do, guys, and what I'm going to do here, and hopefully this will work, is what I'm going to do is this one here, UE4 to UE to G Genesis 8 retargeter. Uh, and UE4 for this. This actually is just just this one here. Um, I'm gonna link this for you guys in the description. You guys can just download this, and hopefully it will just work for you out of the box. Uh, assuming it does, here's what you'll need to do. <clears throat> here's what you'll need to do. All right. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to. You know what? I'll send. Yeah. No. Actually, you probably need to create your own. All right. So what we're gonna do here is uh, right click, go to animations, go to IK retargeter, make one of those. I've got one right here. You know what, I'll just make one more. Actually, no, I'll just reuse the one I got. Um, UE4 to G8 Retargeter. It'll look something like this. Um, now, initially, you'll have your, your mannequin here. It'll be grayed out. You can't change that. That's your source. Uh, your source, uh, uh, what's it called? I control rig? IK rig? What the hell is it even? What am I even doing here? I don't know. The source, you need a source, and you need a, sort of a destination retargeter. All right, so here's let me break down the premise for you really quick here. So what we've got here is I've built the UE4 uh, IK rig to retarget to a Genesis 8 rig. Now we need a Genesis 8 rig, but luckily that happens to come with the plugin that you got with the DAS to Unreal uh, plugin. Now if you guys haven't done DAS to Unreal or anything like that, you're probably not at this stage. So if you need to know how to import characters, DAS to Unreal and stuff like that, I have other videos for that on my channel. You can check those out first. But I'm assuming if you're asking this question, you've already got characters imported and blah blah blah, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but the DAS to Unreal plugin comes with this one here, the G8IK rig. So this is already done and this works. This works perfectly good, perfectly fine. Um, so we don't need to make another one of those. We have our destination rig. We just need our source rig. Our source in this case is the UE4 rig. Now we need to, what we need to do is basically, what I did here is I basically created all of the, uh, uh, all of the, what's it called? All of the bone chains, whatever, that uh, are set up in the Genesis 8 control rig that came with the plugin. So I just created one of those for UE4. 
Uh, I think there might be one that comes for UE5 to Genesis 8, just but there's like the UE5 mannequin to Genesis 8, but I don't, I couldn't find one for UE4. Um, and UE4 is nice and convenient because you can just take any UE4 animations, retarget them to your dad's character, and you're ready to go. In the case of Cascadeur, uh, it only exports the UE4 by default, so it's just a much easier pipeline workflow to have a UE4 control rig ready to go. So. If you guys want to set up your own control rig, I followed uh, this tutorial here. I will link that in the description by Grim Future Studio. He lays it out how to do that, how to set that up. If you want to set up your own uh, control rig, your own different character, I don't even know what you might want to do, but probably you can just download this one that I've done and uh, put that into your project. So I will link uh, the download for this in a zip file and I also link um, uh, 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 Grim Futures video here for you, those of you who want to go through all the manual setup steps yourself. Alright, so uh, here's what we're going to do once you've got both of those files. You've got uh, your UE4 for G8 which you downloaded from me and you've already got this uh, the G8 IK rig that came with your DAS plugin. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and like I said create that animation and then that new IK rig which we did before I went off on a tangent. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open that up now. Sorry, that was not it. We're going to do, uh, what did I do? What did I say? Animation, uh, IK retargeter. Hopefully that's what I said. IK retargeter is what we're creating at this step. So here's my UE4 to G8 retargeter. I just named that myself. Uh, when you initially get your, your, G8, uh, your, your UE8 to uh, blah, 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 retargeter, it will probably look something like this. You probably have just this guy right here, uh, and you'll probably have a default pose. All right, so that's what it'll look like to start. Uh, and there's, there's, here's my animation from, from uh, Cascadeur. So, what I want to do is uh, bring in number one. I want to so here's my source IK rig, and I want to select my target IK rig. That will be the G8 IK rig that came with your uh, plugin. If you don't see this, uh, just make sure you have show plugin content or show engine content. Make sure you have all these ticked uh, if, if you don't see it there for some reason. Uh, so go ahead and select your G8 IK rig. <clears throat> that will bring in your G8 IK rig. If you don't see anything, that's okay. Just go ahead and select your preview mesh. Uh, it will not look good to start. That's okay. Uh, what we're going to do here first is we are going to go and we are going to create a new pose. I'm going to call mine tutorial pose. Uh, go ahead and click OK. And now we've got that. We can go ahead and click edit pose. Now when you click edit pose, you'll notice things are looking a lot, a lot better than they were a second ago. Now, if you guys know in the comments, if any of you have done this before, how to select every damn bone at the same damn time, let me know, because the next few minutes is probably going to be painful for you watching. You might want to skip ahead. Basically, I'm just trying to select everything. So first, uh, I'm looking for the pelvis. I click the pelvis. That selects most of the other stuff. Um, but then the only thing missing is like <clears throat> the IK stuff down here. I just want to select all that stuff and make sure everything rotates at the same, right? So now that I've got everything selected, I'm just going to rotate it all, make sure all my bones rotate. I'm going to rotate at 90 degrees. All right, so now I've got it basically matched up with the UE4 starting pose. Now, you guys will probably have yours a little bit further away to start. You can kind of put them where you want them or her uh, just with that. Uh, and once you're done, click Edit Pose. And, well, yeah, basically now I can fire up any preview animation as you can see it's basically working working great working good uh never mind about the clipping there some models were not meant to run in that position and you know other models were that's not a problem with the animation that is just a um that is just a stylistic morph preference so there's nothing we can do about that except adjust the animation uh to not be this exact animation because this model uh, kind of doesn't work with that animation or we apply jiggly physics to have them bounce around uh that's a whole other video i'm not going to get off on a tangent here now what you can do if you want to go ahead and actually uh, export these animations you can basically grab this export animation uh find your folder where is it where's where's my folder das to unreal yeah sure let's go with that das to unreal <clears throat> and so now i've got a retargeted oh god Oh god, it's not over. There's more to fix. <laughs> no. See you guys in the next part. 
Oh no, I take it back. It's okay. It's <laughs> it's all right. Um, I just closed that window for whatever reason, reopened it, and it's fine. I think it was loaded in from some previous funny animations that had had that weird sort of... If you guys used a Dest Unreal plugin, you've probably seen that weird head thing bef before. I think it was just loaded into the, to the memory. So I just closed it, re reopened it, and everything's fine. I now have my retargeted animation for my Daz character, and everything is so happy. Everything's so great, except for that tiny little foot wiggle. What's up with that little foot wiggle? I don't know. I don't know. If anybody has any idea why I have a little foot wiggle, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, hope this video has been helpful. Am I forgetting anything? Hopefully not. Links in the description below. See you guys later.